Hey, what's going on guys? This is Pete with Auto Repair Tips. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. In the description below, I'm going to leave a link to my website where you can get some good deals on some tools. And there's also a form there to fill out. If you're working on a vehicle and you need some information on it, you fill out the form, shoot it to me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is a 2012. It's a Honda Accord. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to test the battery life. First thing you want to do is get your multimeter and you want to put it on DC volts. And that's going to be the one with the V with the dotted line and the straight line. In the second, you want to locate the battery. Black is negative, red is positive. You're going to raise the cap up here, make sure you get them up. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn this on to volts. Make sure you, mine is automatic, but make sure you set it to 20 volts. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to take the meter and you're going to touch the red and the ground okay a good battery is going to have right at 12.6 volts the best thing to do is when you're checking it is you want to make sure that you turn the car off and let it sit about about 30 minutes and you want to take a resting test on it okay that's all the computers and everything's going to shut down usually after about 30 to 40 minutes and then when you touch these right here you're going to get a reading. This is 12.5, so it's a little low, but 12.6 is really what you're looking for for a good battery. Batteries are also, they're filled with water and, and sulfic acid, so it's not something you want to go messing with. If you do, you know, be careful, it's dangerous. Um, a lot of the older batteries have caps on top. You can check it if you get yourself a hydrometer. But even if you did test it and see that the battery was bad, your best thing to do is just go ahead and replace it anyway because you, you're not going to repair it. When checking the charging system on it, you want to do the same procedure. You want to put it at uh, DC volts. And you want to put the, uh, the red to the positive and the black to the ground. A good uh, reading on this right here is going to be somewhere between 13.8 and 14.4 volts. This here is charging great. Anything below that or above that is bad. If you're at 15 volts, you're overcharging, and that can also cause damage to the battery. And I wanted to show you after I cut the vehicle off, when we first started this test earlier, it sat for a little bit. It was 12.5. It started at 12.9 and going down, okay? So resting volts was a little bit higher than after I just cut the vehicle off. You know, a battery, it's not going to go bad all at one time. You're going to start noticing individual cells will probably go out and you have a slow cranking on it okay if you notice a slow cranking condition that's when you might want to think about testing your battery so you don't get broken down nowhere hey, i hope you enjoyed the video and just remember multimeters are easy to use inexpensive if you don't have one you should go out and get one and this way you can keep a check on your battery and the other types of electrical systems on your car